Welcome friends. In the previous tutorial, we have looked at data types for dealing with numbers. And in this tutorial, we shall look at strings. We shall look at how to do elementary string manipulation and simple input and output operations. In this tutorial, we shall use concepts of writing Python scripts and the basics of lists that have been covered in the previous session. So let's get started by opening the IPython interpreter. We shall create a string by typing a equal to open single quote capital T this is a string close single quote enter print a and we get the value a contains a string we can check for the data type of a by typing type of a and it shows str which means a is a string variable consider the case when string contains a single quote for example the string i'll be back to store these kinds of strings we use double quotes so type b equal to open double quote i single quote ll b back close double quote enter print b prints the value in python anything enclosed in quotes is a string it does not matter if they are single quotes or double quotes there is also a special type of string enclosed in triple quotes so when you do c equal to open three single quotes i am also a string and close the three single quotes print c c is also a string variable even d equal to open three double quotes one more string close the three double quotes and print d d is also a string these strings enclosed in triple quotes are a special type of strings called doc strings and they shall be dealt in much more detail along with functions we know elements in lists and arrays can be accessed with indices similarly string elements can also be accessed with their indices here also indexing starts from 0 so print a of 0 gives us the first character which is capital t and print a of 5 gives us the sixth character which is i the len function which we used with lists and arrays also works with strings so len of a prints the length of string a and python also supports the plus and star operations with strings plus concatenates two strings so a plus b gives us the two strings a and b concatenated and star operator is used for replicating a string for a given number of times so a star 4 gives us a replicated four times what do you think would happen when we do a star a it gives an error because it doesn't make any logical sense one thing to note about strings is that they are immutable which means when you try to do a of 0 equal to small t in quotes it gives an error which means strings cannot be changed then how does one go about doing string manipulations python provides methods for doing various manipulations on string for example a dot upper gives us the string in upper case and a dot lower gives the string in lower case there are many other methods available and we should use ipython's auto suggestion feature to find out type a dot and hit tab we can see that there are many methods available in python for string manipulation let it let us try starts with a dot starts with in brackets in quotes capital t h i returns true because a starts with the given string which is capital t h i similarly let's try a dot ends with in caps ing it gives false because string does not end in caps ing we have seen the use of split function in previous tutorials split returns a list after splitting the string on given argument so type a underscore list equal to a dot split and print a underscore list we get the words from the string python also has a join function which does the opposite of what a split does type open quote space close quote dot join a underscore list this function takes in a list of elements in our case a list and it joins on the given argument so open quote hyphen close quote dot join a underscore list will return 
all the words joint on hyphen. Please note that after all these operations, the original string is not changed. So print A prints the original string. At times, we want the output message to be in a particular format with variables embedded, something like the printf in C. For these situations, Python provides a provision. First, let us create some variable, say, x, y equals to 1, 1.234. 1 Type print space, open quote, x space, is space, percentage s space, y space, e space, percentage s, close quote, percentage, in brackets, x comma y. Here, percentage s means a string. You can also try percentage, percentage d or percentage f for integer and float values respectively. We have seen how to output data. Now we shall look at taking input from the console. The raw input function of Python allows us to take input from the console. So type a equal to raw underscore input and hit enter. So now Python is waiting for the input. Type 5 and hit enter. We can check for the value of a by typing print a. And we see that it's 5. Raw input also allows us to give a prompt string. We use a equal to raw input. In brackets, we now give the prompt string. In our case, it's enter a value. We can see that the string was prompted to the user. So let's give an input 5, hit enter. We can check for the value by typing print a and it is 5. Now let us check for the type of a by typing type of a. We see that it's an str, which means raw input takes only input as a string. We cannot do mathematical operations on string, but then we can use type conversion similar to that shown in previous tutorial and convert into any other form. Let's do b equal to int of a and print b shows 5. Type of b returns int, which means string a was now converted into integer a. Now b can be used here for any mathematical operations. And for console output, we have been using the print statement, which is pretty straightforward. Now we shall look at a more subtle feature of the print statement. To do this, please first open the SciT editor, which is available in Applications, Programming, SciT, and type print in quotes, hello. In the next line, type print in quotes, world and save it as hello.py desktop in a location in our case we saved it on the desktop and you can see that hello.py is available now go back to your interpreter navigate to the place where you saved it in our case it's desktop and type percentage run space hello.py to run the program. We see that it's pretty straightforward. It's printing hello and world. Now go back to the site editor and create a new file. Now type print and hello. After the print statement, give a comma. Come down to the new line and type in world. Don't give a comma here and save this file as hello2.py. Go back to your interpreter and run the file. Please note the difference in the output. The comma in our script adds a space at the end of the line instead of a new line character that is normally added. Before we wind up, a couple of miscellaneous things. As you may, you may have already noticed, Python is a dynamically typed language, which means you don't have to specify the type of a variable when using a new one. You don't have to do anything special to reuse a variable that was of an int type to a float or a string. So let's create an int variable by typing a equal to 1. We can reuse it as a float by using a equal to 1.1 and print a 
we see that A has been reused. And type of A gives that it's a float. A can also be used as a string. A equal to. Now I'm a string. And print A prints it. Type of A shows that it's an STR. Comments in Python start with a pound or a hash sign. Anything after a hash until the end of line is considered a comment. So let's, let's now create a comment. Type a equal to 1. Hash. A comment here. This is a comment. Print a. And we see 1 but not the comment because comment is not a part of the code. Anything after a hash is a comment only if hash is not a part of a string. So a equal to open quotes, hash, not a comment. This is not a comment. Close quote, enter. Print A. We see that even hash and everything after hash was also taken into string because in strings, hash does not mean it's a comment. We come to the end of this tutorial on strings. And in this tutorial, we have learned what are the supported operations on strings and how to perform simple input and output operations in Python. Hope you have found this tutorial useful. Thank you.